I want to welcome you back to Black Sight tonight. We're going to talk about the baby slapping his black female fan. The baby is an outrageous rapper in the way he acts. He was in an incident at Walmart. He has been with other incidents in the past. Now he's slapping his own female friends. We have to understand that we got a group of young men out here who have no respect for women, especially black women. I want to wonder if the baby would have slapped a white female fan. He felt so privileged as a rapper that he could do that and get away with it. This would be the same young man if his daughter was 15 and someone slapped his daughter, he would go absolutely crazy. But this shows you we have a generation of young black men who have no respect for the black woman. We just saw an incident in New York City in which 15 to 20 boys stomped out a young lady, snatched her sneakers, and walked away. Lucky some of them bums got arrested. But where are they learning this from? They're learning it from this negative subculture in this rap music, which has been a problem for over 20 years. The disrespect of women, the, dis the use of drugs, the use of profanity, the use of sex, and we constantly let them get away with this. We constantly let this virus grow within our community. And now we're seeing the terrible results of what we have let go. The baby should not be supported by this community. And there were one young women who loved this young man on his Instagram after he done it, trying to stand up, trying to back this bump. And I'm gonna call him what he is. I don't care how many records he got, how much gold jewelry he got. He's not a man. And see, we gotta we gotta understand this. You don't become a man because someone gives you a rap contract and you got a million dollars in the bank. You become a man by the way you treat your woman, the way you treat your kids, the way you treat your family, the way you treat your community. And a man making $25,000 a year can be more of a man than the baby. And that's what he acts like, a baby. A baby who hasn't been trained properly in the home. But we see so many of these rappers and other individuals within the entertainment and outside the entertainment industry who look like grown men but who act like spoiled little boys. And no one wants to step up to the plate and say enough is enough. See, this is what white supremacy does. They pick out people like the baby and other rappers out here, and they put them in front of your African-American boys. And they say, look, 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 this who you should be like. You should be like him. You'll get all the attention, all the money, all the girls. And you'll be able to act a damn fool and influence the young black males that we, the WS is the white supremacists, want to destroy. The baby, when you act like this, yes, he got some nice stuff. You become the enemy of the community. And we have to understand we are going to have to identify who the enemy is. Yes, white supremacists, but they got baby white supremacists that they have trained in our community to attack our community, to attack our women, to attack our children. But we do nothing about it. Because a young man has melanin in his skin and he's making money does not mean he's an advocate or friend of our community. And we got to quit giving rewards to these people. We got to quit smiling and buck dancing with these people. 
this type of behavior is truly unacceptable. And when you have no values or norms in your community, what do you expect to happen? Yeah, it's easy to say, well, well, it's the white man's fault. They do the same thing. Yeah, they could do the same thing because they run 90% of everything in the, in the country. We can't do anything the same thing. And it seems like the values and norms of our community have hit rock bottom. And many of you will have you will have to understand that we have to get rid of some of these niggas. They out of control. And the baby is one of them. You got this Kodak Black. You got so many of these other rappers that have been pushed by these wicked record companies. And nothing they say actually is a value to our community. I'm tired of this nonsense. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that video in the, I think I'm going to put it in the cars about the 15 boys jumping on, 15, 20, jumping on the young grown girl. It makes me sick. And this young man makes me sick. I know some of you ain't going to like this video because you love you some the baby. But that's what he asked, like a the baby, not a damn man. I want to thank you for listening to the Black Sight this quick take. Hope you subscribe to smash that like button and share this video.